All right, all right, all right, Sagittarius, what is going on, my dears? It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Vera, it is Scorpion, Red Tarot, and I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Did you miss me, baby? Because I sure missed you. I'm here to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July 2021. I want to give a big shout out to all my OGs, to all my newbies. Every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video, y'all make sure that y'all hit that thumbs up button. If this video resonates for you, if you just want to send some love and just positivity on this way, go ahead and just, you know, shine your love down on me. Okay, why don't you? If there's anybody that would like to book a personal or private read, the only thing you need to do is click the description box of this video, alright? Or check out the About tab on my YouTube page. It gives you all of the various different ways to contact me and send support just shoot me a message on instagram messenger and um if you don't have instagram just go ahead and shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com and again all of those links are provided in the description or the about tab of my youtube page and you know you guys check me out and you know get put on the schedule get put on the schedule all right um y'all know how we always do before we get into any reading, Sagittarius, we always give Father God his flowers. We give him his praises. Oh, before we get into the prayer, I want to just say thank you guys so much for all of the love and support that you guys gave me during my little break, my hiatus. We have eight new decks on the table. All of these decks are brand new, and it's all because of your support. And you guys are booking personal and private readings with me while I was out on my break. So thank you guys again for all of the love and support. Let's uh, bow our heads real quick and just give God his, you know, acknowledgement, praise, and just let's give him the gift of our love real quick. So, Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Sagittarius. We thank you so much for the love, the gifts, the generosity, just all of the you know, prayers that have just been prayed upon us. But we feel like we got a, a group of prayer warriors that's been praying over us, that's been shielding us, that's been protecting us, that's been motivating us. And even just walking around and just like bumping into people that just give us kind words in just our day to day. It just is constant reinforcement, constant encouragement that we're on our path, that we know what we're doing. We're shining bright. We're living our life like it's golden. And again, we're trying to do everything that we can do to feed our passions and to use our gifts and to just be in the most positive way and just be a light being in every sense of the form. So, Father God, we thank you so much for just shining down on our life and just putting all of these people in place to just, you know, again, just help guide us and again, help reinforce our dreams so we know that we're on the right path and we're on the right direction and doing the right thing. So, Father God, uh, please give us the wisdom, the guidance that we need to receive today for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of July 2021. We thank you again for all of the gifts that you have planned ahead of us that we have yet to receive. Father God, we thank you so much for our just ability to just have faith and believe. You know, we've come a long way and we just want to say thank you for just being um, our ride or die, Father God. You never left our side. So, um, in Jesus' name, we just give thanks to you. We give honor. We give praise to you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. All right. Let's go ahead and. All right. In the bell. All right. Come on now. All right. So, we have some crystal grid cards. So, we're about to get into this and see what type of energy we got for Sagittarius for July. I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of yellow for you guys. Just yellow. Gold and yellow. Okay. Let's just get one. Okay, well, we're going with the blue, okay? Y'all got blue obsidian. It says expansive divination and astral travel. Cool to the core. Blue obsidian is created from a natural volcanic glass that has the ability to expand one's natural talents. Okay, come on now. All right now. Fire sign. Okay, now. It says, astral travel and envisioning dreams are protected and safe when you're using this crystal. A power of divine, a divination stone. The blue obsidian enhances psychic ability and uncovers natural talents for the unknown. It clears the way of mental clutter and makes a way for clear channeling and intuitive messages. Allowing you to focus on one message at a time. 
a natural healer. Blue obsidian promotes circulation for your body to open the ore to receive. This is the sign of Aquarius and the planet of Saturn. Blue obsidian. Astral traveling. Okay, now. So y'all been y'all been getting into some deep shit. Okay, the divination, astral traveling, expansion in it. And, okay, so I'm seeing like honestly, like someone has just been. I don't. I see like a lot of candles and just like I don't know if there's someone that chants or like meditates or something like that. But it's just like being able to go in that deep place of that inner self where you really start to envision and, and, and see things and like going into the unknown like a lot of people don't have that focus and that uh, what is it called just the ability to really quiet the mind like that I know I can I definitely have ways that I meditate that works for me just sitting in a quiet space and just I can't do that I like it's so hard for me but it says someone that has extreme focus and it looks like someone that has been trying to work on um I, I guess astral traveling because I this is actually my second time doing this video and the other stone it was another blue stone. Oh gosh, what was it? Astro Travel was on that stone too. God, I wish I didn't delete it and I remember what it was. You got the Three of Swords. Alright now. Got the Three of Swords. Give me one more card for this. Mm -mm. Child. Okay. Mm -mm. Should I take all of this? Okay, you got the three of pentacles. That's that's too much. Okay. You got two threes, and then I did see the fool in reverse as well. Um. <laughs> okay. So. I I feel like. <sighs> Sagittarius, y'all not about to do this to me already. Let me just pull out the rest of these cards because I don't want to say something too much. Let me pull out the rest of these cards here. But I want to say like, um, I don't, I don't know why I feel like when I look at this, this uh, Three of Swords card, and you know, like the Three of Swords card is a card of someone like going through some type of mental anguish, mental anguish, confusion. Being hurt, suffering some type of loss of some sort. Um, this could either be something that has to do with like a social group. It's like um, it's like a social group of some sort where it's like either y'all used to work together, make money together, or it was like uh, some type of work or job experience or something where it was either some type of lucrative learning or financial gain. Um, it's like, I don't want to say like, am I holding it the right way? So I don't know if it's like, if someone's going through some type of heartbreak or, or, or hurt because they could have, I don't want to say like lost a job, but I mean, the three of pentacles in the reverse is very much so that, or it's like, I want to say you could have lost a group of friends, something that had like a, a lot of meaning. Um, like you could have known each other from work, you could have known each other from school, or it was something where I want to say that there was some type of education and there was some type of learning that was done. And it's like, I can't, I can't feed off, I can't, I don't want to say feed off of this anymore, but it's like, because again, even when you look at the Three of Pentacles, it's like, a whole bunch of papers and I'm looking at so it looks like someone is being reprimanded it's like some type of reports are being brought up it's some type of it's something that's not adding up and again um 
it's like two people would be a reprimanded if you really like pay attention to the imagery of this card. It's like this is like a boss or something. And it's like these two people are in trouble for some type of reason. It's like, look, look at this. It's like these two are being like written up for something. It's like, it's like something is missing from, and like this one looks scared. Are y'all paying attention? She looks scared because something was not bought to the table that is like, I don't know, missing receipts or missing something. It's missing something. Um, mm -hmm. And if you pay attention, you see this, you see the little bird right here. Okay. So in this one, where did these people are being reprimanded about some type of work experience, some type of, it's something that did not work. It's something that went wrong, right? You see this bird right here is being like, uh, I don't know. It's like you're doing some type of surgical procedure or either like. You see these books right here on the side? Because it's like, I'm kind of, I'm slightly disturbed a little bit by what I'm seeing here. Because it's like, I want to say someone lost something. It's like they lost their job. They lost their friend or access to a certain social group. Because again, like the Three of Pentacles is something where people were learning something from each other. It was like some type of group experience. There was like some type of leader there was some instructor or something. It's like someone got kicked out. Someone was refused entry or something like that. Or someone got exposed because it's like their resume didn't add up or something didn't add up. There's like missing receipts. Someone tried to steal some money or something like that. It's like something, it's something went wrong here. And that's all I'm going to say. I don't know. It's like if this person is like making the bird pay for it. It's like, did the bird snitch? Because it's like the bird was in the room and, you know, birds are pillars of information. And to me, I don't know. It's like this girl, because she's angry about something. You see all of these books here on the side. It's like she could have learned some type of like torture mechanism to make the bird tell the truth about what the bird seen what the bird heard because the three of swords is someone being angry being confused being hurt uh some type of manipulation or, or something like that so i don't know it's like it's like some type of scare tactic, tor torture tactic that this person just learned, just found out, read in this book, is trying this shit out on this bird to try to get some type, because it's like, I want to say someone told on you or something. It caused some type of grief. It caused some type of blockage in communication. Threes means communications means uh like being social you know what i'm saying your artisticness your self-expression you're able to create and things like that um it means community so it's like again it's like someone was removed from a community was removed from a group uh or could have been like a mm -hmm. again the birds it's just like people are talking it's like people don't discuss their home with you or you don't discuss your home with these people. Because you see how it's like, you see how that bird has like the house on the top of its head. And it's like, maybe there's some concerns about a home situation or something like that. And the other person doesn't want to listen to it anymore. Again, I feel like there's like some type of... And again, it's like someone's going through some type of hurt and frustration and I, I, what, I don't know this card only thing I see here is someone learning some type of torture way to pay or get back at somebody for some type of hurt or 
animosity or something that they have or that they've been experiencing. It's like, do you see these books here? It's like they learn to do this to this. You know, it's like seeking wrong information or it's like the Three of Pentacles is, I, I don't know, it's like you could be learning information from like a wrong source or it's like you're not. The Three of Pentacles could be, in the reverse, could be, again, like I said, a loss of employment or someone not learning. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not learning. And then you got the lady here. So this has to do with a female. The seven, but see, the seven of diamonds means like, uh, like a a money windfall, like like income, like a source of income, or it's like, again, I don't know if like someone could have fucked up, someone could have fucked up, like their source of income, like a good little bit of amount of money because they couldn't get their home off of their head. It's like you could be coming to people telling. About what's going on at home. Like people care. And they don't give a fuck. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like. I don't care about that. I don't want to hear about that no more. Or that's not being used as an excuse anymore. Um, I don't know. And I hate to even talk about stuff like that. But it's like please. Like if you guys are in a work environment. Or work is setting or something like that. And something is going on personal in your life. Do not go to work telling people about what's going on at home because they don't care or someone may, like, people don't care. The Ace of Spades is about new beginnings. It's about removal of the old for new beginnings for a general purpose. It's, it, it meant to happen. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, the Spades can represent the Swords as well, can represent removal, you know what I'm saying? But again, it's so that new things can 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 breathe, new things can grow, new things can be harvested. You got the Eight of Wands, I like that. The Eight of Wands is when you are like um, successful at reaching your target. There could be a lot of fast movement, there can be... Um, communication and, and things opening up from other sources or something like that so it's like or again it, 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 it could just be like things just happen rapid rapidly and again it, it just I don't know why it's like things are shoot I don't know why I, for some reason I do get some type of warning of um, if there's someone, I don't know if it's like if y'all are dealing with the Sagittarius if, or if it's a Sagittarius that may possibly be dealing with an air sign or something like that. Um, like watch your energy, like protect your energy. I don't know why I really feel like someone... There's some level of someone being upset because there's no communication. And I want to say someone doesn't discuss their finances and their success. Because the seven of diamonds represents their success. The eight of wands represents success. Like things are going good for somebody. There is somebody here that has some type of new beginning. It's like it is coming from type some type of new source. There is an envious person here, and that's all I can say. And it's, it's someone that's trying to figure out, well, where does this source of your success from? How, how does this person do this? Like, again, divination, astral travel, all of that stuff like that. You clearly see someone sitting here with some books trying to research, trying to find something out. And again, you see this person is tor torturing this bird, trying to figure out information. But it's from a source of hate. It's from a source of envy. It's from a source of feeling betrayed. Because, again, it's like someone doesn't talk to someone. Um, someone doesn't work with them anymore or won't work with them no more. Or doesn't feel like they're a good partner to... Uh, it's like there's there's something where there's a lack of understanding. There's a lack of working together. There's like, it's not a communicative experience. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, okay, I want to go back and 
spend money with this lady for services. It's like, no, I'd rather reach out to other people. Do you, you see what I'm saying? So it's like there's something coming in quickly for somebody. And I want I really do want to say it's like something where it is. I feel like it might be someone on the outside. There's, there's something not working for someone and then for someone else. There, there's something working for someone else. Um, there's someone over here with this ace of ace of spades. It's like they it's like they flourish with um, starting over, you know, or it's like they might have completely walked away from something because they weren't scared of starting anew. With the three of swords, if this is someone that's focused on a past situation, it's like they won't let it go. Um, saying something about like some won't call them back. Uh, I don't know if it's a job that won't call you back. If it's just, I don't know, but it's something. It's something up here that someone needs to deal with. Um, it's some type of anger of some sort. And it's like you need to. Don't be looking up bad shit you know what I'm saying like it's like because someone is upset about something they're looking up the wrong information or they're looking up how to do shit that you shouldn't be worrying about to do you know what I'm saying if something failed right here then get over the hurt the regret and feeling like well who did what and for why and for this and for that and move on to the next like that is how you flourish that's how like you don't sit there in a place of hate envy or just being a disgruntled customer or disgruntled citizen it's like you're not learning anything from that you're not progressing like the three of pentacles is like you went through at all of this for nothing just for someone to be stuck in a place of like where it's like it's blocking somebody's blessings do you understand what i'm saying where it's like i i don't know if it's someone that is psychic here they have some type of expansive energy divination give astral travel if just intuitively with that seven of diamonds you know because the seven of diamonds is like diamonds is spiritual energy that is legitimately uh high education science psychic ability it could be work related material issues success rewards things and recognition outside of the home means power do you understand what i'm saying so like this person could have had this intuitive power where it's like don't talk to this person about your success don't talk to because do you see this person this bird it doesn't it's not even if they're coming trying to open up and tell them about things going on i don't i don't talk mm -mm. it's something it's like no no no. The Eight of Wands can mean a, a lot of things too. But anyway, let me see what this says. Make gentleness as a habit. See, there's something here with someone in this energy. I don't know who it is. I don't know if this is the Sagittarius. I don't know if this is someone dealing with the Sagittarius. But for this to say to make gentleness your energy? Seriously? Like, you can't make this up. Make gentleness a habit. That's what it says. Make gentleness a habit. Like, I, you can't make this up. Like, this does nothing but second everything that I'm saying up here. There is someone literally up here studying, like, some torture shit. Or it's like some evil fucked up shit to get back at somebody because they don't want to work with them. They don't want to deal with them. Things is like they quit a job, they or fired someone, or you know what I'm saying. It's like be like uh, that. That that's not the way. That's not the way. You know what I'm saying. Like that's not the way. If you want things to open up for you, and if you really want to be successful, you have to learn how to 
accept refusal, accept whatever the fuck it is, and continue to move on. Cause it's like you're. Hey, uh, I gotta, I gotta keep moving. I'm sorry. Let's jump into the. Mm -mm. I would like that. It's it, that's like that's evil, and, and I'm sorry. Like I have to say what I'm seeing here because there's someone that I feel that at first I wasn't understanding when these cards came out how this had to do with the blue obsidian because I'm like if they're taking this energy right here and looking up ill it because like the three of pentacles is like you're, you're getting help from the wrong source because it's like the three of pentacles is something that should be meant to help you something to help you learn you understand that's like you going to night school and you picked up some extra classes but your teacher is shit so you really ain't learn nothing do you understand what i'm saying or you or learning something from a, a bad source and then for the three of pentacles in the reverse with the three of swords like you're learning from something from an angry motherfucker or you have an angry motherfucker going searching for ill advice from People that are in the same energy. Uh-uh. That's not what you want to use the blue obsidian for. Like, that's dangerous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got sexual freedom. And then what's your... Uh, let's, let's get into love, y'all. Resolving conflict. Okay. Okay. So, in love, you have sexual freedom and reserving and resolving conflict. So, um... I want to say hurt people hurt people. That's all I can say. And I have to be real. And I have to be honest. And I got to be to the core. I feel like right now. Until someone gets. In a better place in their life. Maybe you need to just. Be sexually free right now. And not. Uh, attach yourself to anybody. On a serious level. Until you really come to a place of harmony. And you feel like you're ready for that. And it looks like. There's some type of conflict. Where some. Communication and resolution. Needs to be had. It could have to do with someone's. philandering ways. Um, you might not be. Trusting. Because of someone just being so sexually fluid and doing whatever they want to do with whoever or however. And who. Okay, hello. Because sexual freedom can mean a whole bunch of things now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to let that hit you how it hit you. Uh, but again, it's like someone needs to accept someone for who they are in their past and be at peace with that and learn how to let that go. It's like. Maybe there needs to be a conversation that needs to be had, uh, where it needs to be some forgiveness and just acknowledgement of, listen, I don't, I don't hurt from that anymore. Um, I appreciate what I learned from the experience. Uh, I wish you the best in your life and I, and I hope you wish me best in my life. Like there needs there's someone operating from a place of pain because you see the three of swords is still here and again you can still talk about this person like you can still talk about this person a lot and people can understand that you are not necessarily prepared and ready to you still need to resolve this like this is still this is a still a fresh wound it hurt people hurt people so i don't know if this like again I feel like this is someone that can be single and that's operating out of a space of not emotional wellness. Do you understand? And you can be hurting people around you, especially if you're sexually fluid and you're open and you date different people and things like that. It's like there's someone that has something that and then with this eight of wands here, it's like you could be very much so talking to several, several different people not necessarily in a sexual way but it's like dating around like you know they, like things are open like things are you know uh make gentleness a habit because there's still someone suffering from some level of lack because the three of pentacles again it's like it's lack you're not learning something it's like you're not taking in the education that is being put in front of you it's like 
someone could have tried to teach you like you you might have taken extra classes and it's like you still ain't getting this shit because it's like you too busy hanging around with the wrong people or you focus on getting the information from the wrong source instead of the right source you know what i'm saying so again it's like i feel i want to urge someone to pay attention to what you were putting into your brain and your body and what you were fucking with there's someone here that's like mm -mm. They're learning something from the wrong fucking source. The wrong source. And the way you can tell it's the wrong source, are you happy? Are you angry all of the time? Is things going good in your life or is things fucked up? Are people talking about you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, are the things that... Because the Eight of Wands can mean gossip to me. It can most definitely, let me look that up real quick, you guys. And I don't mean to make this video too long, but I feel like certain, certain things need to be discussed and had and we need to talk. Okay, can we talk? Can we make a thing a thing? Can we? Can, can we? The hell? Let me see what this here means. The Eight of Wands means... Okay, no. This means good things. Okay, so the Eight of Wands mean hard work paying off completion, conclusions, solutions, results, hitting the target, in the lead, ahead in your field, strong position, win in your sales, thinking on your feet, up and away, taking off, coming together, in common, well-matched, speed, action, movement, activity, haste, hurry, rush, race, momentum, um, what is that? energy, busy, positive action, quick action, jumping in, springboard, shoot, move, go, charge, strike while the iron is hot, uh, goals realized, stress free, trouble free time, freedom, holidays, romance, uh, Cupid's arrow, getting carried away, getting swept off of your feet, infatuation, obsessed, travel across water, exciting news, thumbs up, fame. Child. 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 And again, the astral traveling thing. Especially with that astral traveling thing, it's just like it to me it means like quick communication. It's like a lot of communication is, is like coming in or something. But it's like please make sure that the um you getting something from the right source. I don't know. I swear. It's just like, I don't know why. Just all the... Because y'all seen when I first started doing the read. And I said, hold on. Let me get the other cards. Because I don't want to say that what is just immediately hitting me. Because it would sound so negative. You know? Oh, my gosh. It says, your smile illuminates my soul. It makes me feel whole. There's no part of me that cannot... Uh, that your love cannot fulfill. From the first moment we've met, I am forever grateful and I count my blessings each day. Beloved Jewel. So this is good. This is good energy. Now, I don't know if this is the way you feel about somebody, if this is the way somebody's feeling about you, Sagittarius. Um, but... You know exactly what my mind told me. They said, no, that's the eight of wands. That's what the fuck we would talk about. That obsession. <laughs> Bitch, shut the fuck up. Y'all, my spirit guys be fucking tripping, bro. I swear on God. Because I'm being urged to tell you guys, like. There is some level of. Someone not getting over, like, some type of ridiculous heartbreak and feeling hurt and again it's like i don't know if this is like someone practicing some type of witchcraft some type of hoodoo voodoo to something that they don't learn from some fucked up sort i don't know bro like i don't know and again it's like with this astral traveling shit and this psychic shit and again someone and it's like i don't know bro Cause it's like, 
there's someone wanting someone to resolve something and it looked like the motherfucker is hiding from the bitch because <laughs> it's like the motherfucker was hurt it's like something it's like the three of pentacles is like someone trying to work something out and it's like they don't want to it's like i don't want to be your friend i don't want you in this group i don't want your energy like you it's something about someone it's like a negative energy it's like you're always angry you are it's like you mm -mm. it's something it's like someone does not want to talk to someone it's like go explore something else I don't know. It's like, but then again, it's like, there's still this constant need to want to reach in, to reach out and to communicate or to find information out about what someone else is doing. It's like their success and something. God, okay. Anyway, let me wrap this the fuck up, y'all, because this shit is getting weird for me. <laughs> Sorry. But it's like, enjoy your freedom. Enjoy your freedom. Like, stop trying to resolve this conflict and try to make love. But there's love that's not, it's not meant to be. Do you understand what I'm saying? These people either don't want to talk to you. They don't want to be your friend. They don't want you in this group. There's some level of negativity that is lying there. And these people feel that. Like, these people are not stupid. It's like, people... Mm -mm. All right, clarify this left for me. Give me two cards. That's a lot of cards. Thank you. I need one more card. No more call for Sagittarius. Child, you got the devil, bitch. I'm the fuck done. I'm the fuck done. Because I done told you something about obsession. I told you. I fucking told you, bruh. I fucking told you. And then you got the Eight of Cups. So, again, it's like... I mean, but the, I mean, with the sexual freedom and stuff with the devil and then the Eight of Cups, that could just... I mean, to me, that means... I feel like this means this is someone that is out... Um, I want to say like having sex with suitors and stuff, trying to get them to fulfill the desires of a, a, a need that was being met from someone else. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like trying to date and find all of these partners, but it's like only thing that you can think about is your ex and when the fuck they're going to come back. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like until this person comes back and you still might be finding out information about them and still stalking and doing all of this shit it, until this person's come back it's like you just out doing whatever you want to do type of thing like that looking for someone to fill a void but it's still at the same time comparing the new suitors that you're with with the footsteps of someone from your past do you see what i'm saying it's like someone that's not letting go of that past and again that has something to do with some type of using sex and their sexuality i don't know they can try to be sexually fluid right now i don't know they could be just doing anything the fuck right now based off of these cards but it's just like you know what i'm saying it's like it's like to cover the hurt to cover the pain um i really want to because mm -mm. the eight of cups is when someone left and they're not coming back so it's like someone needs to control it's like they're because even the devil card like i even look at that like that's witchcraft and that's all of that stuff it's like trying to pry into figuring out what other people where their footsteps have gone like where they're gone or are they coming back like this could be someone even using tarot with the intent purpose instead of trying to better yourself it's like you're trying to go to these people and get information about where someone's gone and when they're coming back and how to reach them and you know like 
figuring out how to do astral traveling but it's like it's like and all this crazy shit but again i keep saying it was like someone was learning something from the wrong fucking source like you need to not worry about where the fuck someone else gone and they're not coming back bruh do you understand what i'm saying like move on with your life it's time for you to stop delaying your progress and you moving forward like this is someone that knows that they need to move on but they just cannot it's like a, um, an addiction it's like i cannot let this go i cannot get this out of my head I, it keeps resurfacing for me it's like you cannot get to the point where you need to be in your transition and where you need to get your head together you needed to get this shit off of you and it's like also Don't go take this fucked up energy and just sourcing it out to other people. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you taking it. And it's like, with this, it's like this shit could just shoot out like crazy. Like this fucking crazy ass energy. Because hurt people hurt people, bruh. I get the fuck out of here, y'all. I'm sorry, Sagittarius. It just came out like this. But I can't control the energy. The God's message to y'all is God's message. I don't know if this is a message to you. If this is a message about somebody. But someone is over here like learning some type of uh, I gotta go I don't even want to talk about it anymore peace